My name is Kaysen, and today I'm going to talk about the RTB process. And what it is, is a process that, ha that has to occur every time a customized ad is served. So RTB, it stands for real-time bidding. It's the auction that allows for ad impressions to be bought, sold, and evaluated instantaneously, similar to the stock market. So it's not eBay. I know that some people might think, oh, it's eBay when I talk about bidding. But it's not. It's pretty much think of it as all the advertisers fighting to have their ad served in front of you. So before the actual bidding occurs, th these five steps have to happen. So as a user, they land on a publisher page. For example, a publisher will be Facebook, and they're the publisher of the ad that will eventually be served. So in the HTML code in Facebook, there's a link that has a source which calls an, an ad server. And an ad server is a server that stores and maintains all the ads that this publisher can potentially serve to you as a user. So step three, an ad server is saying, OK, our browser is asking for an ad, and I have so many ads. Which one do I serve? And it passed down that request to a RTB-enabled supply-side platform, SSP for short. And they're acting similar to a stockbroker. So they bring that request to an exchange, an ad exchange, and where all the buyers are. Uh, and they, they ask them, OK, I have this opportunity to serve an ad. What, let's figure it out and bid for it. And give me a prize, and I will pick a winner. So as a response to that, the ad exchange sent out a bid request. And this is what a bid request looked like. The ID is the ID for this specific auction. And IMP stands for impression. And one impression is every time an ad server is called. So there is an ID for the impression. And the banner in this example is, let's say, Facebook. I have a banner ad. This is the dimension for it. And it has information about the site and the information about the device that the user is on and information about the user. And in this example, it's a man, gender, male. And he's, he was born in 1975. And they're getting this information from cookies in your browser, either a first pro party cookie or a third party cookie. And now we can bid. So this pl takes place in, uh, in ad exchanges. And the demand side platform, which is, is the counterpart of SSP on the publisher side, they have they go through a very rigorous algorithm which really just very, very high level math. And they evaluate information. Okay, this is information about the spot, which is which means just the the ad opportunity. And this is information about the device and the user. And I have all these ads from my advi uh, advertiser. Which one should I bid and how much should I bid for? And as a response to that, they send a bid response. And it's a industry standard that you have to submit a response in under 120 milliseconds. And there are two types of responses. One is if you want to bid, you send an HTTP 200 response. And what if you don't want to bid because you don't think this opportunity will fit into your advertising campaign? I don't want to bid. I don't want to serve my ad to a man when I'm selling high heels. So you, you still have to respond, but you respond with an HTTP 204 response. And the reason why you have to respond either way is because if you don't, the process will time out, and there will be no ad served. So, so as a respond to the bid request I showed earlier, I wrote actually two examples of 
a bit response. The one on top is, I want to bid. This seems a good opportunity. I want to bid. So the ID is the auction ID corresponding to the auction ID in the bid request. And a seat bid is all the information about the ad I want to show. For example, the impression. This is the, it means that this specific opportunity that I want to show my ad. And price, it, yes, it means 60 cents. And it, as an industry standard in uh, digital advertising, the unit in price is CPM. It stands for cost per thousand impressions. So I am paying 60 cents for every thousand times my ad is called. And usually, advertisers buy impressions in millions and sometimes billions. So it's actually not that cheap. And N URL is a URL. I wrote it. That's why it says caseandwins.com. Um, it's a URL that I want the ad server to call if my bid wins. And AD at M is a ad markup. So it's in an iframe. So if you remember in a, again, Facebook on the side, it's a little iframe, and the ad is either a video or a, an image, and that's what that is. If my bid wins, this is the ad that I want you to show. Um, and it's just more information about my bid. And at the bottom, I want my price to be in US dollars. So at the bottom, it's a response that I want to send to the ad server if I don't want to bid at all. Again, you, I included the ID corresponding to the ID of the auction. And for seat bid, I am just returning an empty JSON object because I don't, I'm not bidding. And NBR stands for no bid reason. And there are codes for reasons why I don't want to bid. And I'm sure that you've noticed by now that all of these requests, response, they're all JSON objects. And this is a list of reasons why an advertiser might not want to bid. There can be errors, unknown errors, technical errors, uh, and for my, exa my example, I use suspected non-human traffic because I, I can detect that there, it might be a robot and I don't want to serve my ad to a robot and waste my money, my uh, campaign money. And another thing that I want to point out is really interesting is code number eight, it's, which stands for unmatched user. And if you're an advertiser, again, if you're selling high heels and there's a man looking at this website and you really don't want to serve that to a man, I mean, he could like high heels, but the <laughs> likelihood is low. So again, that's, that's a chance for you to target your demographic. So after all of that, there's a lot of steps. SSP, at this point, it looks at all the bits submitted to an ad server. And again, a lot of higher level math algorithm evaluation, and they pick a winning bid. So it will send it back to the ad server, the publisher's ad server going back up the ladder saying, hey, you want an ad, and I ask for a bidding, and this is the winner that I pick, and now serve this ad. So as a user, you get to see the winning bits creative. And the whole process takes, play, uh, it takes about 200 milliseconds. So it is instantaneous. So this is all I have, but there are a lot of additional topics that you can learn more about if you are interested in ad tech and spe like specific to what I just talked about, cookie syncing is very interesting. For example, if 
you have a cookie on the publisher side that has all your information, Facebook has all your, all your information, but it's a first party, how do you, and you're an advertiser, you can read that cookie unless you sync it. So how do you sync it? And there's a big algorithm, but it's a really big topic. So if you want to learn more about this process, that's a good thing to look at. And that's all I have for today. Thank you.